Okay, I'm just going to quick show you an example of how you can do your flow map. Um, for example, you might start by saying um, that you are going to write the formulas for your products using the crisscross method. And if you wanted to, and this part under here, you could actually show the work for your um, uh, reactants. Then you should balance the equation. And then using the solubility rules, determine um, the soluble, or excuse me, the solid product, which is insoluble. Um, then you will use stoichiometry to determine the masses of the reactants needed. And um, again, you could do all of your work for all of these right on your flow map. And then if you don't know how to do this, there's a video on Edmodo showing you how. And you should probably check if you do do the calculations before you go any further to make sure that you know you did it correctly. And then after that, you will describe your experimental procedure. And, you know, that'll take several boxes. And again, check at the end.